Oh, this is made for killing things. Oh, okay, okay. Done everything. We're good for the day. Let's play some Minecraft. No. It's been forever. No. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. It's literally the middle of the night, but it has been overdue, so I guess we're doing this. What's up guys, this is Old Ninja wearing a wait, I'm not even wearing a needed. That's how that's all I'm give me a second. <laughs> anyway, what's up guys? This is the only ninja wearing aviators and a super royal hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. This is yet another slightly long overdue episode of the Apocalypse Loadout where I go through awesome weapons that Karate Marta sent me and see if they would work in the Apocalypse. Because you know, we all want more weapons to have in the Apocalypse. So if you are looking for weapons to add or I guess not add into your bug out bag, definitely stay tuned and I'll have links to all of them whether or not they're useful or not in the description down below. But let's get started. <laughs> so starting off, we have a, uh, a a grenade brass knuckle. I think it's, no, it's probably steel. It feels like steel. I haven't looked up any of the info for the weapons. I'll be giving a full in-depth review of all of these weapons over on Karate Mars channel. This is just my first opinion and it's pretty cool. I don't like the fact that it makes so much noise with that keychain or the pull pin. I like the aesthetic of it being a grenade and you could pull the pin, but you can't actually pull the pin. Like it doesn't come out, doesn't do anything, it just makes noise. So as far as like the zombies, they can definitely hear it coming. But if you're trying to show off with a cool set of, of brass knuckles that looks like a grenade, this is this is pretty cool. And I also like how it feels. Somehow the, uh, the curve of the grenade look right there kind of fits in the palm of my hand really well. So um, it just, I don't, know, I don't know, it feels better than many other brass knuckles that I've had or used in the past. Um, but you, you tell me, plus I like this flat part that you can put your thumb so you can swipe as well, but it's not bad. It's a solid weapon. As far as people who aren't like the undead, it would work pretty well. But as far as this, like the zombie apocalypse, I wouldn't want to get this close to the zombies specifically, but as far as dealing with humans, solid choice. It's just a little loud. And this one, <laughs> I don't know. This one just feels promising. It has a, it's a, a nice like nylon case. And you know the best, the best and coolest things come in a nylon case. So let's pop it out and see what we're dealing with. Ooh, it's kind of stuck there. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? It just, that's like, I didn't add that sound in. If you could hear that, I did not add that sound in. So this looks like a, um, a throwing ax or a, a tomahawk type of weapon with blades on both sides that are out the box sharp. So that's a benefit um, with a paracord wrap and the paracord could be unwrapped and tied through the hole to swing at it like a meteor hammer or a rope dart, but with a, a, a bladed, like a hook. Like you could you could use this to hook on the stuff and then climb up the rope or, oh, oh this is actually pretty good. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is like, the more I think about this, this is actually pretty good. Like you could use it for, you know, chopping like firewood and kindling and things like that for survival. So check on the survival bin. Uh, this will do damage it up close to any enemies, whether they're zombies or not. Cause this, this going into someone's neck will put them down for sure. I don't know if it'll like decapitate a zombie, but it could definitely go into someone's brain or zombie's brain. Um, but you could also use this both as a weapon and tactically as a grapple hook to just like take the paracord, unwrap it, uh, and swing it around. <laughs> god, god, that's actually pretty cool. This, this I would add to my bug out bag. This I would add to my bug out bag. That's, that's pretty dope, in fact. Um, I'm a fan of this one and it feels like not overly heavy. It feels like a nice um, thing that I can get some, some decent speed on when I strike, uh, allowing me to cut deeper and deeper or quicker and strike more. Uh, this is, I'm about it, I'm about it. 
And again, I don't really remember any of the statistics or stats of these weapons. Um, it is made of stainless steel because I can read it on the back, but any other details I'll go over in the other one, in the other video on Karate Mart. But I already said that, let's go to the next one. So from that winner, we have a Kubaton pin. Now it's an actual pin, like it will actually write um, in, ooh, hang on, let me write this on something on black ink it writes in black ink for those of you that wanted to know and you can actually it looks like you can this, this uh unscrews here and you guess you could change yeah you could change the ink cartridges so you can buy an ink cartridges so you can use this pen for a long amount of time and it has nice ridges for you to hold your hand plus the tactical feature of uh or the um benefit of having a flashlight on you is also really nice to either wave down for help if you're if you're stuck somewhere ow that hurt my ears <laughs> but there's there's i mean it's a good knife for modern uses like for self-defense you could use it to uh the same way you would use a kubaton and you could use it to single uh for help and use it for light purposes but as far as the apocalypse we went from the banger this one doesn't really find a spot in my bug out bag. It might simply because it's so small, I can just shove it anywhere like a pin. It's, I mean, a metal pin is always helpful, um, but it's not like a apocalypse specific weapon or anything like that. It's not gonna be adding to my effectiveness against the zombies or anything like that. So we have um, this, which sounds hollow, meaning it probably unscrews. I mean, as, as just a base using a baton, is is gonna is gonna do some damage and this is this is feels like steel um with a window breaker on the back end <laughs> if you can see that that will do some that will get you free out of situations break into to broken down cars window breakers are always useful but uh it does feel hollow so let's see what we get uh when we unscrew it oh this is made for killing things Oh, oh, and it screws back here. So, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? So this is a mini spear um, and a tri, a, a, a rotating tri-blade at that, meaning it has three different blades on it. And yes, they are in fact, they're not incredibly sharp, but they're definitely sharp enough to do some damage, especially considering this is a puncture weapon. You don't swing and whack people. I mean, you might whack people with this in because it's blunt, but no, you take this in and you stab people. And because of the, the spiral, the way it works is it causes for damage that is incredibly hard to, oh my goodness, incredibly hard to patch up. Even if you were in a hospital, like when uh, that the stab wound was was made it would be still incredibly hard to 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 survive even in like a, a hospital and with a doctor and all that equipment and stuff so in the apocalypse no this will not do much against a um a zombie but against against a dude against a dude this will this will stop pretty much anyone like anyone's messing with you and your squad or whatever you're dealing with they're done like that's that's it for them um they're, they're gonna bleed out so this this gets added in especially the fact that it can be uh like made longer for a full oh oh do you feel that feel that bang wow mm, i like this one i like i don't this and that last one are both solid picks and you just can just when you're when you're done you know using it for the murder purposes you still have a baton that can use in immediate situations in emergency situations oh this one's this one's good and it does oh yes it does come oh, it even comes with a nylon carrying case with a belt strap so that you can put it in and be ready to go just whoosh, 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 pop pop stab oh I like this one, I like this one. So please let me know which one you think you're gonna add to your bug out bag if you could only pick one. I'm not really sure. Oh, it's a, it's a toss up between that second and fourth one. I don't know. You let me know which one you would put into your bug out bag um, <laughs> that during your apocalypse preparation. But <laughs> thank you guys for watching the video. 
Um, remember that all the links to all these weapons are down in the comments below. And tell Karate Mart I said hi if you go and get one. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Be the Modern Ninja, but left off. Just know I'm dangerous. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pink Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to